Hello and welcome to Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Oh, you have no idea how excited I am to get this going on. I'm a big fan of the card game that this is the sort of computer adaptation of. So that's really good. Um, we'll, we'll get into this, but I'm, I'm, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. In case you haven't got it from just this, it's kind of a comic book, card based game Let, let's i tell you what let's get started i don't know why this continue game i'm not sure what game has started but anyway new game um so the way this works first we first we set it up because you get to choose like i said it's based on the card game you get to choose what you want to do so we're going to be fighting one of these four villains in one of these four environments as some of these ten heroes so that's a one two three four five six seven eight nine yes ten so who? Oh, pardon me, that's terrible. Who are we going to fight? We've got here Baron Blade. He's kind of a an evil scientist guy. He's pretty easy to play. Uh, there's Citizen Dawn. She's basically kind of a female Magneto. She's got these superpowers and she's formed a band with some other people who also do. Grand Lord, Warlord Voss, an alien from an outer space. He's got all these people that have got these powers, this whole thing. Or... Omnitron, the self-aware robotics factory. I like the sound of that. Let's let's play against him, uh, and I'll explain all the intricacies of what's going on as we go along. Uh, heroes. Um, I, I tell you what. Let's actually let's take a step back. Um, the way this game works, like I said, you pick a villain, an environment, and some heroes. And every round of the game, the villain they, they've all got decks of cards that they do different things with. So, uh, Omnitron. Uh, basically when he starts the game you're just going to put him in play and then every turn the villain will play a card and then they'll do some other stuff i'm not going to read it here we'll look at it then each of the heroes gets to have their turn where you play a card use a power and then draw a card and then the environment comes up and these again they've got their own decks and these will play a card every turn that will mess with things they might help they might hurt they might do a bit of both so yeah all these different heroes play in quite different ways and so what team you pick can make a big difference to whether you're successful or not. I think to start with, let's try and... I'm going to play this a bit easy mode, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to going to not mess about too much this first time. So, we're going to bring in Tempest. Tempest is a, an alien from outer space. He's got a lot of elemental stuff. Um, so he's, he's quite versatile. He can do lots of things and he's got a lot of ways of doing sort of mass damage. So he's pretty nice. We'll go for Tachyon. Tachyon is pretty interesting. The quickest woman in the world. She kind of builds up over the game and then can uh, sort of at some point she'll be stupidly powerful and can just release some incredibly weird attacks. An absolute zero. Probably my favorite character from the base game. Uh, he, uh, well, you, I mean, you, oh, I'll go on this in a minute. You see here his power is to deal himself one fire damage or cold damage what we'll get to that we'll get to that where are we gonna fight there's insular primus uh, primalist sorry it's basically dinosaurs and stuff there's megalopolis it's a bit of a city kind of environment there's the ruins of atlantis or there's the wagner mars base i don't know the ruins of atlantis that well i think so let's give that a go yeah. Ooh, look, it's gone all watery. Right, fight! What's gonna happen? Oh, it's an underwater robot base. How strange. Uh, offensive robot. Blah, blah, blah. I'll forget it. I'm not gonna do the reading. It doesn't matter. There isn't like an ongoing sort of plot. There's just that bit of setup, and then the rest is just the game. So, yeah, we're about to start the game. We can look at people's hands and do things. So, like I said, let's have a quick look at Omnitron's card. Uh, start the game, he's just going to come into play. He's got this weird thing. All of the villains in the game have two sides to the card, and they'll flip over in different circumstances, and different sides do different things. So, this one, he's going to flip over right at the start. So, let's have a look at the other side. And while he's on this side of the... Um, deck uh, what well, this side the card sorry uh, he basically every turn the villain will play a card but with him he's gonna play another card uh, so ooh, that's pretty terrible and then next turn he'll flip back 
and on that turn he will play a card as normal but at the end of the villain turn he's going to go through the villain trash and bring out a card that we destroyed before so basically he's constantly pulling out twice as much stuff as really should be normally so he can be quite nasty we're gonna have to keep on him all right let's see what he does okay so he's brought out a repair drone which is going to heal him and the other stuff that's in play but that's fine everyone's at full health it's not really going to do much uh, and this guy oh he's going to deal the hero tog with the highest hit points some energy damage so let's see who's that going to be it's absolute zero he takes three damage not good uh, one th good thing about this as opposed to the the physical card game is obviously the game itself handles all of the weird counting and keeping track of things and all that malarkey. Um, before we carry on, let's have a quick look at our character. So we've got Tempest. Uh, like I said, he's kind of an elemental guy. Uh, his base power is that he can deal everyone one damage. Yeah, that's that's alright, you know, especially when there's a lot on the table. That can do pretty well. Uh, we've got Tachyon, like I said, a speedster. Uh, let's, oh, what am I doing? Uh, her thing, she hasn't actually got like a direct attack of any kind she could just look at the top card of a deck and then throw it away why would that be useful you'll see and we've already had a look at absolute zero and he can deal himself damage strange all right let's get started and what have we got in terms of cards to start with we'll get one card a turn so this at first we're just going to have a quick look for everything but later on later turns are going to be a bit quicker we have chain lightning we can do one target, four damage, another three, then another two. You notice they all say the lightning damage. Damage has types, but it doesn't generally matter so much. Uh, let me see. So that needs four, that needs three. So we could take out most things right now. Gene Bound Shackles, where we increase damage dealt tempest by the villain to, uh, to the villain target with the highest hit points by two. That's generally going to be Omnitron itself. So that's a good thing to get in early. And into the stratosphere, we can select a villain card and just put it back on the villain deck and then do two damage to Omnichon. So that's pretty nifty. We could get rid of something from here and then it will come back later, but uh, that will use up its turn. So for example, in fact, just to show you, I'm going to have a go. I'm going to use into the stratosphere and we're going to get rid of the repair drone. So now that's now to play and that's not going to do anything. And we do a bit of damage to Omnitron. And what's going to happen is on the villain turn when he draws his first card, uh, well there's nothing in the deck yet so probably that automatron drone is going to come out if we get rid of it anyway. And then when he draws his card he's just going to bring out that repair drone so we know what's going to come. Fantastic! And then we're going to deal some damage to everyone which it do one thing you can do in this game obviously here you deal damage to everything so you can you select which ones you want to do in what order or you can just pick choose for me and it will just do damage to everyone. <laughs> Uh, one thing I should say, normally the game runs a little bit quicker than this, but I've slowed it down to give me time, give you time to look at what's going on and see what's happening. So here I've got a new card. Uh, this is a new power that I can use. At the moment, all the characters start off with a base power on the main card, but you can play other cards that will let you do more things. It gives you a lot more versatility. Okay, what have we got here? Um, for Tachyon, she starts off with Accelerated Assault. She does everyone one melee damage. Not too nifty by itself. Uh, Fleet of Foot. Uh, each player may draw a card. You may play a card. That's very, very useful. We'll almost certainly be playing that. Uh, Lightning Reflexes. You can play two cards right now. Or well, two. You don't have to if you don't want to. And Supersonic Response. You deal one target two melee damage. And if they damaged you before, then you deal them two sonic damage. That's all right. Uh, Fleet of Foot, we're definitely going to play that first because it lets everyone, including us, by the way, draw a card. Um, but then we can play another card. So it, it basically, you don't really lose anything. Um, one of the things to notice is this card. You'll notice a lot of Tachyon's cards say Burst. Um, this is because she has some abilities which do different stuff based on how many Burst cards you've thrown away, which is why you want to be discarding stuff. It all makes sense. So Tempest has got some more Gene Bound Shackles. Not really that useful. We're getting, ooh, uh, Nimble Strike lets us do a bit of damage and draw another card. And Absolute Zero gets, oh, a Nifty Card which lets him destroy ongoing cards and do some damage. Ooh, very nifty. Okay, uh, what are we going to play next? We might as well play Nimble Strike. Like I said, we don't necessarily want to get rid of the Automaton um, because it would come back anyway. So let's give him a useless turn next turn. Let's use Nimble Strike and just hit Omnitron in the face. There we go. Yep, 
That's fine. We get another card pushing the limits. That's like her very top tier card. It lets her draw another card and play another card every turn, but she has to do herself damage to use it. Ooh. And then we can use her power, reveal the top card of the deck, and then we'll decide if we want to keep it or discard it. Ooh, hood goggles. We definitely want to keep that. We're not going to throw those away because now we'll get to draw it. And that's very useful. We can play an additional card every single turn. Very, very nice. Absolute Zero. He's a weird one. He's a bit difficult to play as. And I don't think we've got what we need to really make the most of him yet. So he's got this card which lets him, the one we just pulled, he can destroy some ongoing cards. And then he deals every single non-hero target, so that's everything on the villain side and any environment stuff. So sometimes they can be stuff you attack. Um, some cold damage based on what he did. Uh, this one, play this card next to a non-hero target and then they'll deal cold damage every single turn. That's very nifty. Look, on the picture, he's used it on Omnitron. I wonder what I'm going to do. Uh, another one of those. Uh, that's very nice. One thing I should... Uh, I'll mention in a minute, I'll come back to that. Uh, modular lineman, select one equipment card from your trash and put it into play or your hand and then deal yourself some damage. Unfortunately, I have no trash. And Thermal Shockwave, it's a new power I can use where I deal up to three targets of cold damage each and then I deal myself a bunch of fire damage. Not good. Right. Now, playing Impale would be a good idea, except I'm not really going to be able to use my power this turn because that just hurts myself and right now there's no point. Um, so, what you can do is if you skip your turn and don't play anything or use a power you can draw two cards at the end of the turn instead of one and I'm going to do that this time I need certain cards with absolute zero he's a bit useless until you get the right things in play and I want those things so here we go oh there's one of them that's cryo chamber uh, it's not the most useful but okay and focused apertures increase cold damage dealt by absolute zero by one that's useful that's one of the things we need but not the best one. Okay. Now it's the Ruins of Atlantis and they're going to do something. Oh gosh. Hold on. What have they done? Uh oh. Right. This is the font of power and apparently it lets it draw an extra card. That's kind of ruined our plan a little bit. We were hoping to give them an entirely useless turn. Uh, oh it plays. Of course it plays the top card of everyone's deck. So everyone gets a, three, a free card play. Um, right. So. Tempest has just give, been given this card, Vicious Cyclone, which you can play next to anyone. And then at the start of the turn, you've got the opportunity to discard some cards and deal a bit of extra damage. Of course, I'm going to put that on Omnitron. There's there's no point putting that on anything else. Sorry, just slurring half my words there. Uh, next, Tachyon. What's top card? Destroy a target with two or fewer hit points. Well, that's going to be the Automaton. I don't really need to use it, but whatever. <clears throat> and Absolute Zero's deck. Oh, fantastic. That is one of the things that we needed to get out. And getting that for free right now is absolutely perfect. Mmm. Drinking a bit of code then. Okay, he's put on a special card, the Interpolation Beam. Ooh, every time we draw a card, it hurts us. And the drone's back. Yep, that's that's expected. That's expected. And then because the drone it, everyone gets healed and we get a bit of damage not great but it could be a lot worse uh, before I do anything here uh, oh uh, see I can no let, let's hold on let's just look at this first this interpolation beam <clears throat> so every time one of us draws a card we get to take some we have to take some damage that's not that good but destroy this card when Omnitron is dealt seven or more damage in one round since this card entered play I'm hopeful we can do that we just have to hit him hard and hit him fast can I do that do I have a way of doing that yes in fact I can probably do all of that right now if I really want to push it I'm I, uh, Let's get close, let's get close. I'm gonna, if I discard the Gene Bound Shackles, whoops, come on, get on there, and into the Stratosphere, and I'll stop there. That's gonna do two damage to Omnitron, very good. Then I can play Chain Lightning, 
and we'll do four hits right to the face. Okay, and then we'll do uh, we can we can do three to the autonomous drone drone. We'll just kill that outright, and then another two to the repair drone just because we can. Okay. And then finally we've got a power which deals one hit to everything, which will be seven hits to Omnitron. And that will mean the interpolation beam's gone. That's good. Uh, that means we've got rid of it before we have to draw a card, so even we're not going to take damage. Excellent. Oh, that's, uh, that that's kind of useful. Right. Tachyon. Okay. So we got these hood goggles which let us play an additional card. And that comes into play straight away, so there's no reason not to play it right now, because that power will let us do something else anyway. Hmm, dear, pardon me. So, what have we got? We've got supersonic response is probably a good idea this turn. Um, all the others are basically things that are going to... I mean, accelerated response uh, assault will let us hit everyone, but only for one. It's not too good. The others will just let us use more cards, but we don't need to. But supersonic response, we do two damage, and because, as it says up here, we have been dealt damage. Um, oh, by the automaton drone. Wait, not by um, Omnitron itself. So it won't do full damage, but we'll use that anyway. We're going to play that and hit Omnitron. Um, actually, no, no, no. Skip that. One of the good things about this game is you can rewind to an earlier point. Only a limited amount. You can't cheat, but you can sort of rethink your strategy a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to use Accelerated Assault because that will kill this repair drone as well, and we want it gone. So it doesn't matter what order, so just hit them both. Omnitron takes a hit. Repair drone is gone. Nice. And then we can use a power, reveal a card. Um, no, we don't want to discard Lightning. Oh, actually, maybe we do because it's not... We've got a lot of ways to do extra cards, uh, play extra cards as it is, especially with the hood goggles. So if we discard it, we might get something better. So let's get rid. <clears throat> That's a bit better. It's not great, but it's better. So all these burst cards that she's got, you really want to play them as soon as possible. Right. We didn't get a good look at this null point uh, calibration unit before, so let's take a look now. When Absolute Dura would take cold damage, he regains that many hit points himself uh, instead. Ah, now this power starts to make sense. We can deal ourselves cold damage and heal. Uh, but we still can't do much damage, can we? Hmm, I wonder if there's a way around that as well. Okay, for the moment, let's put on these uh, this turn. Actually, let's put on Impale. So let's do that. And we, yep, put it on Omnitron. So now Omnitron is going to take a little bit of damage every single turn which is nice uh, we might as well deal ourselves a bit of cold damage because instead of hurting us it's gonna heal us yeah nice and we get modular realignment again not useful right now but maybe maybe we can do something with that little extra um, damage to ourselves if nothing else is good we didn't actually have a proper look at that font of power but never mind oh toxic seaweed uh, every time someone uses a power, um, let's see, every time someone uses power we get two toxic damage. That is not fun. That's not nice. Or someone can discard their hand to destroy this card. Okay, anytime you're in some kind of situation like this you can click meanwhile and sort of take a look at everything. So one of these, I'm going to be chucking all of their cards away. It's just unavoidable. Uh, Tempest, he's got the Gene Bound Shackles, which I kind of want to keep. Uh, Cleansing Downpour is useful, but not. He hasn't really got anything vital. Even that isn't too important. Um, Tachyon really, really needs cards to do things, but none of the cards there are so, so important. In fact, to be fair, throwing away burst cards is a good thing, because as I said, the more you've got in the. here, the. the the discard pile the better so I might actually discard from Tachyon and just on a turn just draw two cards uh, instead of doing anything so yes Tachyon get rid of everything there you go definitely didn't want that toxic seaweed Omnitron what have you got for me today uh, destroy all equipment cards and deal two lightning damage to everyone that was using some 
Oh, that's not fun at all. <sighs> so Tachyon and Absolute Zero are going to take some damage and lose their cool equipment that we just got on. Absolute Zero really, really needed that item. Never mind. After Omnitron is dealt damage, Omnitron becomes immune to that type of damage. That can be very nasty. That can be very nasty indeed. Um, but we're not going to play it right now, but we can make use of this. Uh, this is the Elemental Subwave Inducer. And basically, you can pick a damage type for uh, Tempest Attack, so he can do all different kinds of things, which is perfect for getting past that weird resistance that... Um, Omnitron's just got. But for now, we're just going to put on the Gene Bound Shackles. Gene Bound. Put on the Gene Bound. Oh, it's discard. We're, no, we're not going to. We're not going to discard anything this turn. I kind of want all those cards. All right. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we will use that power, and that will damage Tempest with a little bit more because I've just put those shackles on. So now it's immune to projectile damage because that's what I just used, and that's how that stuff works. Uh, I could use this power which will let me reveal the top card and then choose to discard it but why bother because if I just skip then I'll get the top two cards so either way I'm gonna get the next one <laughs> and they're both synaptic interruption I'm really glad I made that choice uh, yeah there we go impaled Omnitron excellent uh, but now he's immune to cold which is a bit bit rubbish really uh, and I still haven't got anything that great. But what I will do is put on these focused apertures. Um, and what they're going to do is any time I do cold damage of any type, that'll increase it by one. Uh, and that includes that impale. Uh, we're not going to use power because we've lost the stuff we need to uh, heal from cold. So that's a bit rubbish. And that uh, coolant blast can be useful. But not yet because we haven't got what we need. What? Oh, the Kraken. It will deal the lowest, basically, whoever's got the least hit points will take damage. Oh, and I guess that's Tachyon right now. Uh, if Omnitron had a couple of drones in play, it would hit those first. And so the Kraken can actually be quite helpful. Ooh. Ooh. Like this Electro Pulse Explosive, it'll definitely hit that. Oh, not an interpolation beam again. That's, that's really bad, especially when it's got that armor in play. I need some way of getting rid of cards. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Let me think. This does projectile damage, so there's not much point. If I throw everything at it, I will do five damage right now. I won't be able to hit it with that. But that will hit the... Let me just have a look at the Electro Pulse. See, see what that does. At the start of the villain turn, this card deals everyone X lightning damage where X is the current hit point. So right now, if we don't do anything, that will hit everyone for 15 damage. That is vicious. That is very mean. And yet it's also not the big issue right now because this interpolation beam... It's horrible. It's horrible. We don't want to leave it in. We need to do a lot of damage to Omnitron. And we need to do a lot of damage to the Interpolation Beam. But actually, let's think about this. This Impale means that no matter what, Omnitron is going to take three damage when it gets to um, Absolute Zero's turn. Because he's got the focused apertures in play. So that's going to do three cold damage. So we only need to do four here. Tempest, just using his normal power, will do three. Uh, and, Temp and Tachyon is bound to be able to do... Oh, no, actually, Tachyon can't do anything useful. Um, what about... Let me think of it this way. Admittedly, Synaptic Interruption would mean that he, she could take the explosion of this and throw it right back at Omnitron. That could be fun, but everyone else would take a big hit, so it's probably not worth it. If he can do one fire damage this turn, uh, no, 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 he can't. So I need to be able to do four damage right now. And the only way I can do that is to use two of these cards 
and chuck them right at Omnitron. Uh, sorry, I've just blown to the mic there. As useful as this is going to be, there's probably, hopefully I'll be able to find another way of getting rid of that adaptive plating. So I'm going to chuck that and Aquatic Correspondence will get me more cards, but there's uh, not right now, not right now. So, if I attack Omnitron now, that's going to do four damage, and that should do it. So we'll stop there. <laughs> Hold on, whoa. Whoa, wait, go back there. Did that only do three damage? What? Wait, whoa, go back, go back. What's going on here? No, 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 no. Hold on. Omnitron plays card. Okay, stuff happens. Da, 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 da. Right. That, what, what's going on here? So we've got Vicious Icon. Plays card next to a target. Um, oh. Oh, no, this is awful. Right, it's not your turn. Discard three cards. He deals that target one projectile damage for each card discard this way. Yeah, so if we deal two, the gene bound shackle should make it four, shouldn't it? Isn't that right? Let me try that again. So I'm going to throw that and this. So that's two. So we do, will do two projectile damage for each card discard this way, yes. And then the gene bound shackles will make it four. Right? I mean, there's nothing in play that just gives him a one. He's not immune. Hold on. One thing I forgot about this game, you can press this lightning bolt at any time. And it will show you everything sort of relevant that's been put into play. Um, so no, that should do four damage. So let's stop and see what happens. So... No, that's, what that's done is it's done that amount of damage twice. I think that may be a bug. <laughs> Let's just read that card again one more time. And just see what's going on there. Uh, deals that target. Oh, no, 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 that is right. I deal one projectile damage for each card, not deal X projectile damage. Where, so it's the individual instances. I can do one and then one and then one. So it's only going to do three anyway. And I don't have a way of... Uh, if I already had this out... Uh, I might have been able to do something better, but no, no. So no matter what happens, this interpolation beam is going to stay in play. That is awful. So forget that, I'm not going to discard anything because I can do just as much damage just using my base power. Let's stop. Okay, what do I want to put in play? The Elemental Subwave Inducer might be useful because then I can make it so that I take less damage from lightning. Um, so... It's only going to be one, but it's better than nothing. So let's put that into play. And actually, that's only going to be at start of turn, so it's not going to do anything yet. Whatever. Whatever. I've messed about too long. It's, let's use this. So that's going to be three damage there. One to temper. One to everything. So draw one, draw a card, because I'll take damage. I'll, do, I'll get one energy damage. Uh, let's see, I'm on 26 health. I can I can handle that. So yes, let's draw a card. Okay, that's that's pretty useful. And as of next turn, I'll have to get around that anyway. Um, I'll, I'll just put that into play. That's going to be quite useful because it means that when that Electro Pulse goes off, because I'm not going to be able to get rid of it this turn, I can redirect that and hit um, Omnitron pretty hard. And do I want to keep that card? No, we can discard that and give me something else instead. Yep, draw a card, give me that power. Ooh, more goggles. Good, good, want those. 
and absolute zero. Straight away, three damage to Omnitron. But Knight's immune to cold, and I haven't got anything all that useful. Um, but, ah, I've just had a thought, because I do have that module I need in my trash. And of course, modular realignment is going to let me put that into play. So, there we go. And, what? No, no, I can... I thought I got to choose which... Oh, deal himself one fire damage and one cold damage. No, no, fair enough. Okay, and now I may as well deal myself one cold damage, which will become two because of my focus damages and it will heal me also. That's good. That's good. I'm going to need that healing because I'm about to get really hurt. Um, but the Kraken will help me out a little bit here because it's going to attack what's got the lowest health and at the moment that's not any of us. That's this here little electropulse. Oh, not the toxic seaweed. Oh, that's awful. Um, let's see, who's going to discard? I think it's probably going to be Tachyon. I know I, I do want the hood goggles, but no, no, Tachyon can discard to get rid of that. Uh, it doesn't matter the order. Right. Now, that electro pulse. Uh, first, let's go for Tachyon first. Because, as I said, I've got, hold on a second, synaptic interruption. So I can redirect that, and we're going to redirect that right back at Omnitron. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know, it occurred to me that I might have been able to put that back at the electro pulse. And that and reduce the damage it was doing to everyone else. Huh. I'm 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 gonna I'm go um, should I go back? Let's have a look back. Let, let me re have a look at that. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Yep. Tachyon reduce get, gets rid of cards. Electro pulse comes out. It's gonna do damage. We're gonna have Tachyon take it first. And then, yeah, I can put it back at the explosive. Hopefully, that will kill it off before it hits the other people on here. Um, yes, it does. Fantastic. Wow, everyone takes four damage and get rid of all ongoing cards. Nasty. Oh, that is, that is very nasty. Oh, it gets rid of Impale. I mean, luckily we've got another Impale, but that's still not great. And an assault drone. Uh, it's going to do the hero target with high hit points. At the moment, just two damage. Hopefully, we can get that down. I don't think I'm playing too well today. Okay, this, like I said, this is what this does. I can pick an energy type. It's going to make me take less damage from that and do damage of that type. At the moment, let me think about this. If I ch choose energy. I will be able to ignore the energy damage that that does. So let's pick energy. That's nice. And what have we got in terms of powers? Uh, we have that. That could be useful. Everyone takes a card from the trash and puts it on top of the hero deck. That can be very, very useful indeed. And it will let me draw another card. Probably more useful than the other things. So let's do that. So what, what do I want to go on my deck? This is the thing that I will definitely get next turn. I'm already wearing the shackles, so I don't want those again. Notice, this is one thing I alluded to earlier but didn't talk about. Some of the equipment says limited. Uh, some cards say limited. That means you can only have one in play at a time. I can't put another pair of shackles on, basically. So there's no point in having that. Chain lightning could be very useful. I'll probably get that. Okay, Tachyon, what card do you want? Um, hmm. I have thrown away two pairs of hood goggles, and it might be good to get those back. But Fleet of Foot, I really like because I can draw another card for everyone. It's basically a free turn, and I do need some card draw. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Fleet of Foot, and let's see here. Um. I guess I'll have this impale back because I can put two of them on. And yes, I want to draw a card. 
Chain Lightning, what a surprise, but I won't take damage because I'm immune to energy. Excellent. So let's deal everyone one damage, which will be three. Okay. And do I want to draw a card? Yes, please. Whenever anyone would dealt five more damage from a single target, reduce that damage by two. Okay, that can be useful. Right, Tachyon has no cards in play. There's no point in using the power, so I might as well skip and get two cards. Do I want to draw a card? Oh yeah, that's going to do two lots of damage though. But, eh. I've got it, I need cards. Tachyon is nothing without card draw. Okay, how much have I done to Omnitron this turn? Three. I need to do four damage right now and I only get one shot if I'm just doing cold so what does this do uh, deal up to three no that's useless I mean it'll do two but it's not enough impale no destroy up to three ongoing cards uh, that could do it deals one hero non hero target X where X is the amount of fire damage. Well, I haven't taken any fire damage. Right. It all depends on how many... Actually, wait a minute. No, that's much better. Okay. I'm, I'm overthinking things. I've got Fueled Freeze here. I can destroy both of those ongoing cards and then do a ton of damage to everyone else. Why would I not do that? So, let's play that card. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think what order I get rid of these in, but I'll start with the adaptive plane just to be super certain. Uh, interpolation room. And then I could... Uh, oh no, th apparently I'd, I could have destroyed one of the player's ongoing cards, but it looks like that I don't have any in play. Uh, and then select the first target field damage. Doesn't matter! Hit everything! Do it! Right, there we go. So Kraken's taking damage, Omtron's taking damage, and that other one is out of the way. And then can do myself some cold damage to heal up. I haven't quite got my engine up because I need another card which I don't have, but I do have a bunch of impales, which is nice. Uh, mystical defenses. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals each non-environment target two energy damage. Wow. Okay, so that's going to hit everyone. Oh, then the Kraken's go oh, attack on so long health. The Kraken's go for her now. That's bad. That's very bad. Um, Tachyon is not going to last long. Luckily, Mystical Defenses does energy damage, and of course, we made our friend Tempest here semi-immune to that. Oh, destroy all environment cards and play as many villain cards. As... Okay, that's kind of good, because both of those were doing me harm, and Kraken was going to kill um, uh, uh, Tachyon next turn, so it's good to get rid of that. So that's fine, that's fine. But let's see what two cards we get. Uh, hit the highest and hit the highest. So those will not hit Tachyon, which is good. Every time someone draws a hero card, deal their hero one energy damage. Ugh. To be fair though, now that we're not having to worry about that armor, Tempest can do a lot of damage. Uh, to Omnitron this turn and hopefully over seven we're going to get rid of a lot of that stuff so let's just let's just have a look and see is there anything in particular everything seems to be doing energy damage so let's let's once again be do that so we'll get extra resistance uh, so that's fine right so yeah we want to be hitting a lot of stuff hard we definitely want to get Omnitron for 7 damage and I have a lot of ways of doing that so let's get chain lightning on I definitely I'd need to get um, cleansing actually wait a minute I need to do 7 damage this turn cleansing downpour uh, it's not going to come out for a little while no let's let's stick with the plan chain lightning Omnitron's going to take 4 which is going to be 6 which is fantastic and then yeah we'll take out that drone uh, and no, we definitely don't want to attack one of our own people. Uh, th funnily enough though, this, I could have thought about this a bit better. If I'd have gone for lightning damage instead of energy, I could have used this last one and hit Absolute Zero and healed him up a little bit. 
but we'll uh, we'll stick with what I've done. We'll stick with it. And then Tempest is going to do one damage to everyone, which is boosted because of had sh shackles, and that will be more than seven, which will get rid of all that stuff, which means I can draw a card in safety. Very nice. Oh. Grievous Hellsun, that is very good. It's essentially the same as our base power, but better. Does double the damage. Nice. Right, as I said, we definitely want Fleet of Foot. There's no, whenever you've got that plate straight away, there's no reason not to. Um, okay. Um, I don't think that's going to do much. I can do a couple of damage but that's not really what I want to do right now let's use research grant um, research grant is a little bit better rapid recon just lets you reveal the top card and choose if you want to discard it uh, this lets you draw two cards and choose which one to discard so unless both of them are things that you really really need to keep which isn't usually a thing uh, with, with tachyon discarding cards is a good thing so using this power is a great idea because I'll get to discard something and keep something uh, so I can do that or that. Um, normally, synaptic interruption would be something I'd throw right away, but we are so low on health, so low. I kind of feel like I need that to be there to help us survive. Then again, uh, Tachyon's got some very useful cards, which, when they're used, make it that nothing can attack. Everything. Um, can do no damage for that turn and none of them have come out yet and she's only got can we see how many cards she's got left in deck i don't think we can see that at the moment but probably uh, about she's probably about halfway through a deck so those cards have to be coming soon um i'm gonna get rid of super uh, supersonic uh response especially as it's a first card it'll power us up a little bit sonic vortex very nice Here's where these burst cards start coming into play. Um, that card, let me just go back there. Uh, that card will hit everything. Uh, for, for the number of burst cards she's got, which at the moment is 10, she can deal 10 targets, 3 damage each. Not the best card she's got, but a pretty good one. Okay. Absolute zero. What are we going to do with you today? Uh, sub zero atmosphere? Nah. Uh, have we got any modules that I need? Nah. Impale? Impale's a good play. I mean, we have... I mean, the other Impale got... got. Um, I think Impale might be our best bet. Let's put that out. So, put that on Omnitron and then give ourselves a bit of cold damage again to heal up. Okay. And then, ooh, cold snap, very nice. Do everything one cold damage each. And of course, with our focus apertures, that becomes two. Two damage to everyone without having to do anything. Fantastic. Woo! Players may play an additional card, use an additional power, and draw an additional card. But what's uh, what was that that the was going to happen on the villain turn? Ooh. Oh, it plays the top card of the villain deck. Uh. And it destroys all environment cards. So that's um, that's not good because that would have helped us a lot. And in fact, it's just helped Omnitron because it's let him draw an extra card, which has then destroyed that, which has let him draw an extra card. And he already gets to draw two. So, oh, and the adaptive plating is back. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. And automatron drones. The good thing is nothing there that's going to... Um, go after um, Tachyon. Absolute zero. I mean, look, he's he's technically... I mean, he doesn't have as much health as Tempest for the most part. So he's, you know, he's further through his health, but he can heal. And Tempest can't yet. He does... I mean, we've got powers that could do that, but that'd heal everyone anyway. So Absolute zero could take it, even though, come to think of it, Tempest w is slightly resistant to energy. So maybe that would have been a better bet, but whatever. It's no big deal. Um, I don't think I have the card in play that's going to let me uh, do a bit of healing to uh, Absolute Zero. So let's go for energy again, again, just just in case that other Tomatron is still there. <laughs> now, what do I want to do? Uh, Grievous Hellstorm, that'd be good. Do everyone 
two damage instead of one, or I could do that, which just gives an extra one. In fact, that's probably a better one because I can use that and still use that power. Uh, this can wait a little while. Although, then again, that I could. No, 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 no. This this works better. This works better. And let's hit everyone. Doesn't matter the order. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe. Mm, no, no, it doesn't. Hit everything. Okay. So, Omnitron's immune to energy. Localized Hurricane is pretty tricky. Uh, right. Tell me you've got something useful. Sonic Vortex could work. Uh, it'd do 3-3-3 three, three, three damage. I'd take out everything and do a bit to Omnitron. Honestly, this is probably the best time to use that. So, let's go for it. Uh, it doesn't matter... Uh, the order. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's go for the automaton drone. Gone, and then the repair drone. Gone, and then Omnitron. Gone. Okay. And no, we don't want to damage our teammates. Thank you very much. And then research grant again. Just need you to stay alive long enough to get some of your. None of her best cards have come out, which is a big shame. Uh, again, let's uh, let's get rid of Nimble Strike. Card draw is... Uh, actually, no. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Accelerated Assault. And Hypersonic Assault. Ah, that's, that's the good one I was telling you about. It deals everyone a bit of damage, and anyone who took damage can't attack until the next turn. Very useful indeed. Right. Um, at the moment, Omnitron still got that armor plating. I don't think I have another copy of that card that lets me... What card was it that let me... Fueled Freeze? I need Fueled Freeze back, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think I've got a way to do that. Uh, impale would normally be good, but as long as that adaptive plating's in play, only one of them's going to hit anyway. So actually, a better idea right now is to use Cold Snap, because that'll hit all of his other cards as well, but Impale will still be there, and hopefully Impale will hit first. So let's go for Cold Snap, and then, once again, heal myself up. So that's fine. Envir oh, a Fueled Freeze! Fantastic! If I can just keep Tachyon alive long enough, that'll be useful. Uh, so much for that. I think that might well be the end of Tachyon. Yep, Tachyon's dead. Uh, oh dear. That doesn't put her out of the game completely. Uh, when heroes uh, are gone, basically their card flips over and they've got some abilities on the other side that they can use. But it's not... Uh, sometimes that can be very useful, sometimes not so much. <laughs> okay. Let me just get a little bit of drink here. Mm. Okay. Once again, let's see what we've got here. Disintegration Ray. Um... Ah, uh, that's not too much to worry about. Assault drone, fine at the moment, but might get a bit tricky once other stuff comes out. I might go for melee this turn. So let's, unless I've got something that, I haven't got anything that increases power of particular types of damage, I don't think. So, yeah, let's, let's go for melee, because that way I can reduce that kind of damage. And that's going to deal everything some, well, normally lightning damage, but now it's melee. You see how that works? Okay. Uh, if I leave Kraken and the drone alive, Kraken will just fight the dragon, uh, dra dragon drone for me and kill it. If I kill the drone, he's going to go after one of us instead. Uh, if I kill, yes. So I kind of want to keep that drone alive if I can. Now, what power do I want? Cleansing downpour would gives us a bit of healing. Uh, a bit late <laughs> for Tachyon, but could be useful. Or Grievous Hailstorm will give me a bit more damage. I'm probably going to go... Oh, wait. Wait a minute, because I don't want to kill that. 
and absolute zero is going to do two damage to everything on his next turn so i don't really want to attack so cleansing downpour giving me another ability which i can just heal probably is a better idea okay nice very useful okay so yes um uh, we can do one of these abilities every turn. Some may play a card, draw a card, or take a card from their trash into their hand. That particular ability, that third one, can be extremely useful if you've got certain people in play. Some of their one-shot cards can be very powerful, and if you can keep pulling them out, pulling them out, pulling them out, letting them use it every turn, that can be ridiculous. So, uh, let's see what we've got in the trash for... Um, no, the uh, the t um, chain lightning could be pretty useful. Another fueled freeze could be good, but I don't need it right now because I've got one. So let's. What about playing cards? Who can play something useful? Uh, th having an extra turn to get a, f a bit more cards for um, Tempest is probably a really good idea right now. If I play that, it'll get like f three cards. Um, so maybe yeah let's let's let tempest play that aquatic correspondence so he's going to get three cards from that another reclaim from the deep uh of world resilience very good and another shielding wins not that useful never mind okay absolute zeros yes the impale hit first that's good because right now he's going to be immune to cold damage doesn't matter the order because Omnitron won't take the damage, never mind. Okay, so the only thing is here is don't do more damage to the assault drone. Oh, uh, why are I, there's still there's one more piece of equipment I need and I'm just not getting it. I really need to I'm gonna be using Tachyon's turns to give him a bit of extra card draw, I think. That's probably a useful idea. Um for now, let's use that fueled freeze again to get rid of both those cards yep and now that's good uh, we're not going to be destroying any more cards thank you very much although then again mm, cleansing downpour isn't so useful and and you know if we really want to I can get Tachyon to pull it back out so maybe it's worthwhile getting rid of that just for that bit of extra damage I mean it's gonna be only one but there's still something and it will hit that as well hmm yeah yeah let's let's do that uh, and it doesn't matter the oh that's a point I don't want to hit that salt drone but I think I'm gonna to have to oh dear I may not have uh, thought about this entirely yeah there we go <laughs> Okay, so the Kraken is going to wind up attacking us. Oops. Never mind. Next time I'll concentrate on that. See, it's it's a weird thing that it's kind of bad. Uh, ooh, that that I need. That's very good because I really need to get that last piece of equipment. Um, yeah, this is the only problem. Both of these characters kind of do a lot of area of effect damage. They hit things even if you don't want them to. Uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, each player may discard one card to destroy. Oh, at the end of the environment turn, each player must discard a card, and then at the start to turn, each player may discard a card. Okay. Yeah, what this card does is increase all damage by us and by the villains and everything by one, and increase all hit point recovery by one. That's actually very useful right now, especially for absolute zero because he does himself one point of cold damage his focused apertures make that two points of cold damage this makes it three points of cold damage when he hits himself it turns into healing of three points and this makes it four points of damage he can heal himself four points every turn without really doing anything but you've got to discard cards one way or the other so probably it's not gonna be around that long uh, let's get rid of a shielding winds from Tempest. No reason to keep that about. And I think for absolute zero, we 
we're going to get rid of Sub-Zero Atmosphere. It's a bit of a weird card and it's not terribly useful. <laughs> okay. Right, what have we got now? Omnitron, what are you doing? Oh, another Assault Drone. And a Railgun, which will hit both of us for two damage. Uh, except, yeah, that's a good point. It's increased. Uh, not good. Right. Let's, again, let's have a look here. So we've got the Kraken, which is going to do melee. Uh, and we've got the Electromagnetic Railgun, which is going to do projectile. And we've got the Assault Drone, which is going to do melee. So I think I'll pick melee just in case this Kraken comes after me. I have got the lowest hit points now, so it's liable to. Okay. Right, then everything takes some damage because of this. So, might as well just pick everything. Okay. What do I want to play? Overworld Resilience could be very nice. Just get a bit of, uh, bit of damage reduction. Um, but, I think, I think probably Grievous Hailstorm's time has come. Just to increase our base attack. So, let's, uh, let's use that. So, again, choose me. I don't really need to worry. This time it's 5 to Omnitron. Which gets rid of Railgun. And three to everyone else. Kraken is on its last legs. Right. Um, yeah, so I need card draw for Absolute Zero. I'm not even going to look at what else is going on. Uh, another module installation. That's good. Could have used it much sooner in the game, to be quite honest. Uh, everything takes damage. Yep, great. Um, so what this does is it's going to let me search my deck for a card and then I can draw an extra card and play an extra card as well which is fantastic okay so I get a sub-zero atmosphere which I don't need and then where have you been there's four of you in there All right let's um let's have that and then Right, so what the isothermic transducer does, this is my last bit of core equipment. Whenever absolute zero, de uh, absolute zero is dealt fire damage, I can deal one target that much cold damage. So now this idea of taking fire damage to myself makes sense. I deal myself some fire damage, I deal someone else some cold damage, but my focus apertures make it more cold damage, or I can redirect that to myself to heal me, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do, so I need that. That is incredible and that's where some of this other stuff comes into play so if I go for example the thermal shockwave I deal up to three targets one cold damage each except that because of the focus temperatures that becomes two and then I deal myself X fire damage where X is total total amount of cold damage dealt so if I hit three with that which would be six damage I do myself six damage but then I can do that as cold damage which would become seven to someone else on top of the damage I've already dealt or I can put that to myself to heal and as this has pointed out because I've been doing impale and cold snap and all that kind of stuff I've actually got a load of damage already so right so I could do my deal myself a ludicrous amount of damage it can do a lot you can hurt yourself badly with this but you can always heal it up again so it's actually a pretty damn incredible card when played with that and that, a lot of his cards work that way like this one do yourself fire damage and cold damage. Cold damage heals you. The fire damage you can redirect it to cold damage and heal yourself a bit more or do some hurt as well. There's all kinds of stuff. It's my favourite character. Deal everyone X cold damage where X is the amount of fire damage that's been built, dealt to you since the end of your last turn. So you can deal yourself some fire damage in the next turn. Go a bit crazy and, and blast it back out. Anyway, I think I'm going to put... Uh, Oh, I haven't got another. I thought I had another card play. Oh, I know what it was. I should have. I should have used this. Let's. Uh, no. Let, let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. So I'm gonna deal. Let's see. What do I want to do? I can deal myself. See, I can deal myself fire damage to do cold damage or else. But I'm not going to. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit. So, like I said, four at the moment because of all the stuff that's going on. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, everyone discard a card to get rid of this, yes. Even if I didn't do it now, I'd have to get one at the end of the turn anyway. Right. Uh, let's get rid of Reclaim from the Deep. 
I've got other ways of getting stuff out of the trash. Uh, we can get rid of. Uh, I don't need another one of these. And again, if if I really if I lose that somehow, I have ways of getting it back. No, no, let's get rid of Sub Zero Atmosphere again. Don't need that. When this card into play, each deal each target three melee damage and then destroy this card. So that's everything, including um, Omnitron. So that's fine. And because I picked like melee that time, I'm gonna reduce a bit. So that's that's helpful. That didn't turn out too bad. I mean, he can absorb the health. He we're we're gonna do things with him. Oh, here we go. Every time you draw a hero card. They get one energy damage. Fine. And another assault drone. Same old, same old. Right. Um, uh, again, let, let's go for energy so this inter interpolation beam doesn't really do anything. Uh, hit everything. Yep. It's fine. Play a card. Now. Localized Hurricane could be useful. When you put this into play, all damage dealt to is increased by one. Every time you get hit, you get hit harder. And with his health being low, maybe not a good idea. But it gives you a really good uh, base attack. Instead of these do one damage to everyone, do two damage to everyone. This lets you do three damage, and you can pick who to hit, which sometimes is useful. And you get a load of extra card draw, which is very, very good. But I think this turn I'm going to put Overworld resi uh, Resilience into play. I need to keep him healed a little bit. That will help him to stay alive. And along with it, uh, Localized Hurricane, that will, they'll, they'll kind of cancel each other out. So let's go for that. Okay, and as usual, hit everything for two damage, please. Uh, Omnitron is oh, getting pretty low. And that's already done enough to get rid of that beam. Oh, another one of those. Just when I don't need it. Fantastic. Right. I know what I'm going to do. Because Tempest needs healing, and we threw away the healing ability. So let's give it him back. And then he can play that next turn and start getting some health back. Now he's protected, and it's all going to be good. Uh, and here we go. These cards are starting to come into their own. And I think, honestly... Given, um, let's just have a look here. And dealt has dealt seven cold damage. I think, given how well impales working now, we've got rid of a lot of his ways of getting around that. That could be useful. Oh, actually, before anything else, let's play this because, like I said, let's draw a card and play a card and get an extra magic card, which you probably don't need, but at least it's a bit of extra card draw. So why not? Oh, I've got another one of those. Great. Let's get another isothermic transducer, just in case. Actually, no, let's get another null point calibration, because I haven't got one in hand, I don't think. Oh, I have, never mind. And then, I can play a card, so let's play another one. Excellent. Uh, draw three cards and destroy this card. That might be worth a go. Okay, so I've got plenty of cards in hand. So, yeah. <coughs> what do I want to do, do? What will this one do? That won't be useful. Which one was it? Which one was it that sort of let me... Thermal Shockwave. So, let's think about this. I could use that to deal one cold damage to Omnitron, which would become two. So that would be two cold damage because of the focused apertures to Omnitron. So that would get him down to 14. Then I would deal myself... Uh, X fire damage, where X is your total amount of cold damage. So that would be... Uh, 2 plus 7 I've already dealt, so that'd be 9. So I'd do myself 9 cold damage, uh, fire damage, which I could survive, I could survive that. And then I could fire that out as 10 damage back at him. So that'd get him down to 4. 4. That could be very, very useful. But I kind of want to wait one more turn. I want to wait one more turn. So, let's shove another impale on him. Why not? Uh, I need to... I want to heal up a little bit more before I start doing those kind of shenanigans. Uh, and hopefully... Oh, he, he, all of his best stuff, it hasn't come up. There's one particular card I'm after, which he's got, I think, two or three of, and they just haven't appeared. 
Players cannot play hero cards increase all lightning damage by two. Oh, that actually, that's going to play well into. That's going to help me out a lot. Uh, deal each target four projectile damage. Destroy all hero ongoing cards. Oh no, 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 not now, not now. My victory is so close. Look at this. The impales are going to go. That electrical storm and cold snap. His grievous hailstorm. His own go. Oh, will be resilience. Oh, that is horrible. That's really. That's awful. Oh. Destroy all equipment cards. No. You've got to be kidding me. We've just lost everything. And that's going to do a ton of damage as well. Wow, and it's all boosted because lightning damage is increased because of the leaking room. That's hot. That's really. That's messed everything up. That's that's that has almost certainly lost me the game. Because. Oh my god, because I've got to do another 16 damage. Which I could have done this turn. No problem. But that's just give it, that's just taken everything away. Just that combination of leaking room. And oh. What what was the, the other card that came out? Leaking room. And uh the the technological singularity and the sedative fletchers. It is the worst possible combination, especially this late in the game when you've got everything set up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how I can bring this back. Cleansing downpour might let me start to heal up a little bit. Um, um, Absolute Zero has got the stuff he needs in his hand to start healing up and repairing. And maybe if I can concentrate on healing him, let Tempest die. It's, it's going to happen. It can't be avoided. Concentrate on healing uh absolute zero as soon as possible maybe he can pull something out of the bag so i think that's what i've got to do so let's um wait click a card oh yeah and also i can't play cards so i can't play i can't start rebuilding <laughs> okay okay well i think that's a good game all right let's uh, let's see what happens maybe i'll get incredibly lucky somehow I can't play a card, so let's have a quick look in Absolute Zero's, um, have I of them got something in the trash which might be incredibly helpful that I haven't thought of? Um, no, no, probably not. Uh, well, hang on, let's look at what he's got because he needs all three things, he needs focused apertures, he needs the null point calibration unit he's got so he's got two of the three but he needs his focused apertures so i think i'm gonna pull his focused apertures back from the trash oh man this is awful okay i can't i can't i can't play anything i could deal myself for damage not do anything with it <laughs> Oh, and I get folk sapatures anyway. Okay, of course I do. Of course I do. Why would I not? <sighs> oh, man. Deal everyone two energy damage. So, uh, that's... Yep. So, choose me. Yeah, Omnitron takes a bit of damage. Tempest is dead. Absolute Zero is almost dead. Uh... Deal four energy damage to the cop hero with the highest hit points. That's going to be him. Unless I could do seven damage. And a repair drone. So at least he's not doing more damage. <laughs> I need... I need to let... Uh, heroes are immune to damage type chance. May take an ongoing card from trash into hand. That isn't useful. That might be... Both the disintegration rate and the mystical defenses are energy. So if I make, if I make uh, absolute zero immune to energy, 
that will buy him some time. And I can do that every turn if I need to. And yes, I definitely want to be able to let him play null point calibration unit. And then with the uh, focused apertures, I can he start healing up a little bit. It's not great, but it will it'll keep me going just a little longer. Oh, this is going to be... If I can pull this back, it's going to be incredible. I'm not holding out hope. This is not... Uh, increase all damage by one, it hit point recovery by one. Actually, that's not too bad. The mystical defenses are going to ravage him, but can't do a thing against me. So, that's not bad, actually. Uh, I do have to discard a card, but not really a problem. I've got my focus apertures, I can get those back. But let's, let's go for one of these, because I've got two of them in hand. And I've got ways of pulling them back out if I need to. Okay, uh, again, nothing. Uh, another repair drone, oh. Oh, no! That, I don't like those repair drones, they're, they're really gonna hurt, but, let me see here, again, energy damage, disintegration rate does energy, oh no, no, I've got a terrible, I've got a really, I've got a horrible decision to make. If I make him immune to energy, that's gonna be fine, that's gonna be fine, but this electro pulse explosive is just gonna, there's no way I can get that down enough, or heal up enough that that's gonna that I'm gonna survive that or I have I have to make him immune to electricity hopefully I can survive I, I won't draw so I won't be worried about that hopefully I can survive that and that in fact may help me to that that might this at this rate is gonna win me the game but right now I'm gonna make myself immune to electrical damage uh, lightning damage there we go <laughs> Right, uh, and again, let's let's have a quick look. Is there anything I can play that's going to be very useful? Probably, probably. I mean, the isothermic transducer. Have I got anything? He I need something that heals. Really, a fuel freeze could be useful. Um, do a ton of damage and destroy ongoing cards. Maybe that's worth putting in my hand. Maybe I'm uh, yeah actually yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, put one of these into his hands that's gonna be very useful because um, let's think about that if I use that now store up to three ongoing cards have we got any ongoing cards uh, the disintegration ray I'd that'd be very useful to get rid of nothing else just that that's fine uh, then I can deal everyone two damage yeah yeah that is probably a very good idea so I'm gonna use fueled freeze we'll just destroy Ow. that that's fine uh, and then it's gonna deal damage to everyone with a little bit extra because of my probe damages oh and that phosphorescent chamber of course yeah so that's that's big money big prizes big damage and then a bit of cold damage which again thanks to that phosphorescent chamber the damage is going to go up to three, and then the healing's going to go up to four. So that is a nice bit of healing. This 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 could work. This could actually work. Do I want? No, I think I want to keep that in play because I'm benefiting at better uh, benefiting a lot from that right now. So no, uh, I'm going to have to discard a card anyway. That's all right. That's all right. I, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, select target to be dealt damage. I mean, it's going to hurt me, but I I think I can deal with it a bit better than than most actually. Let's uh let's let's take this step by step. Yeah, phosphorescent chamber still there, so it's still going to be boosted a bit, but still, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and then I have to discard a card. Let's get rid of one of these glacier structures. I can't really see myself using those. Uh, so yeah, doesn't do any damage to me because of the electro port electricity. Uh, I was hoping that hit Omnitron, but I guess that was that was pretty dumb. Oh, oh, big assault damage. Oh, that might be it. I think that's it. 
Damn it! Oh! There you go, Omnitron has won, he has obtained victory over the Atlantis. Uh, the combined forces of Tempest, Tachyon, and Absolute Zero were not enough. I tried so hard, came so far, but in the end, didn't even matter. Uh, oh well, but you know what? I had a lot of fun this game. Oh, it's it's good. It's very good. There's a lot there's a lot of tactics to it for a game that really is is in terms of how you play. Very simple. You play a card, use a power, draw a card. Nice and easy. But there's so much. There's so much variety as well. I mean. You know, this this is the base game. You know, there's a lot of different, and, and then we've got these variant covers. Let me see. I think I've got the one for Tachyon, assuming the um, uh, save is port going from on my laptop. No, it hasn't. So I haven't unlocked it on this computer, unfortunately. I have on the other one. Um, and then there's lots and lots and lots of expansions. Most of them aren't. There's they've just released the first sort of main expansions for the. Uh, desktop version of the game. The, the card game has so much and all of it is coming uh, this way. So that's fantastic. But um, Anyway, there you go. I did not emerge victorious, but I'm definitely going to be giving this another go sometime soon. So thank you. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!